Hello everyone, this is the Dodge Caravan uh, Sport 2002 as you can see it's red and um, I've been living out of it for a week now so this is the entrance to the actual living portion of the van not the driving so at first glance we have a sign home sweet home the typical umbrella right here out uh, at the front door I have a speaker and just a fan and an extension for a for a um, tripod to the left I have a flashlight my wallet keys um, other accessories for camera and recording just stuff that I might use uh, more frequent than not it's located on here and it's just put on with uh, two screws and two washers basically so first glance over here you see a cushion seat right here and uh, all I did was I got a piece of wood on the bottom and two um, one inch cushions and then just got this at Walmart this fabric and then I stapled it to the bottom of the wood and then I uh, drilled from the bottom into the top and it holds in place this actually serves two purposes the first purpose is to sit down if I want to take a view outside the door and the second purpose is um, for my bed to lay on it actually so on the left we have my my bed but it's on couch mode right now so it's a foldable mattress and it folds in three parts which is that top part this part and then this other piece so um, whenever I'm ready to go to bed it's a e semi easy process um, I'll show you guys right now actually that way you can see how it how it works okay I'm gonna try to do it with one hand so first things first is taking the pillow out of the way I'm gonna sit on here for now so the second part is folding this part down and uh, moving the mattress out of the way so I throw it basically in here so it fits perfectly right there so this is a piece of wood that extends out and then and then the piece of wood falls right in there so it sits on the cushion and um, after that all I do is bring the bed back on top pull it all the way to the front and just fold it out and just do the pillow over there and I have a backboard as you can see very very nice backboard same fabric as the cushion and that's it this is the bed I'm gonna try and get a better angle over here it's uh, I'm 5'9 and I fit comfortably on it um, I could just take this off it has a clip and I can move it out, move it out of the way when I, whenever I want to go to sleep there's the clip Oh, I'm sorry and that way I, I won't be bumping into it when I'm asleep so I could do that this is actually where I have my computer my tablet notebook I'm taking four classes online right now so um, that's my works my study station so this is um bed mode and in bed mode actually I could still access my socks underwear um, all that good stuff that's under here so I can still access all this if I wanted to or needed to which is good let me put it back on couch mode so I can show you the rest of the stuff well before that I actually um, this is the amount of room I have if I wanted to I could still move in and out through that way I'm gonna come here to the back I'll show you the back here in a minute so if I wanted to I could still come in here I still make my way in here and uh, lay down or whatever and I could even do it through that door actually if I want to also just jump in jump out through here so um, very accessible still in bed mode um, so it works just fine for me let me put it back on couch more real quick uh, I have a storage section down here I have my shirts here. I didn't bring many shirts because it's going to be winter here pretty soon in Texas. It's going to be very cold. So I have a few shirts. 
um, some electronic equipment, a little fan. I have like three fans, I think. USB fans, a little jump starter. So this is just random stuff in here with my shirt. And it goes there. Um, for the carpet, I left the original carpet on the van. I actually didn't take anything out but two molding, um, two moldings on the side, which is on that side and this side, um, because it just uh, it just pushed out too far out and too high up. I lost a few inches there, so I took those out. And um, yeah, that's the only thing. Um, I left everything else because everything is of use to me. I could use these clips to mount my lights which I just put them here so I could put these lights there all over the van with these clips if I wanted to um, and other other reasons why um, I'll, I'll get into that later but here this is basically the uh, bed extension um, couch seat so there's that you already saw my, my um, storage bins down here now here I just have other storage bins, which it's another fan and some basically uh, chargers and uh, backups to charge my phone um, and stuff like that. Then over here I have all the accessories for bathroom use and vitamins. So in this bag I have like all my toothbrush, um, soap, shampoo, all that stuff. Just grab it and go to the restroom whenever I need it. Um, clean my hands. And they have these hooks here and that's where I put bungee cords to strap them down um, so you're gonna see little hooks all along um, this one is being used right now this one I don't take off there's no need to and this one I don't take off only when I'm gonna access the bins because this one actually slides out pretty easily without it and while this one I don't want to I don't want to worry even though I did put uh, slip mats under it I still just you know prefer to be safe now the sink over here um, I still haven't fully um, done it because um, I forgot my foot pump at my parents house in California so I don't have it with me and I don't want to spend another 40 bucks on it so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using this to wash dishes I'm just going to set it here on the side and open it up um, I already have a bucket down there for all the wastewater and this is actually uh, something that I somehow want to put on the side here it's going to be my uh, either here or somewhere around it's just gonna hold the sponge basically sponge holder I thought it'd look nice and I want to use it for that so we'll use it for that and I have uh, some space on top and whenever I wash dishes or whatnot this is how I dry them dry, uh, dry mat basically that's all it is just sit it on here and put the wet dishes on top let it dry and this one in particular comes with the little uh, string right here that you could just attach and let it dry by itself next to the door so you could do that and next thing is uh, this basket right here and that's where all my cooking stuff is at I have a burner right here I have two burners a small one and a medium one and I usually use those for backpacking but um, I use them in here now because I don't really do a lot of cooking so whenever I, got, I have to do something small I have my pans in here and this will suffice um, soap and just random kitchen stuff under that I have this bucket which serves two purposes I'm pretty sure you already guessed them and the first one is just trash don't worry I haven't used it for the second purpose but it's just trash uh, for now but I do have two bags i have one bag that is a uh, it resists water it, it's very tough it's a uh, it's one of these i put one of those on the bottom and i put one of these on top so if if i don't use it for the second purpose then i'll just uh throw this bag away now if i use it for the other purpose i'll throw both bags away so that's for that basically just close it up and throw it in there it's a three gallon bucket got it at home depot most of these things i got them at ross this was one rug and i cut it in half and it just threw one in here and one that way and that's all it is now you saw my water drinking water and washing dishes for now um while i get my pump 
uh, this little thing holds on onto the wood right here and I can put my tablet here and watch YouTube videos or whatnot while I'm chilling, laying down, doing whatever I want to do. Um, the rest of my clothes is over here. Uh, jackets and sweaters are right here. Pants are right here. And that's it for clothing wise, besides the shirts that I already showed you. And now here, um, let's see what I got. I forgot what I have here. Um, this is just uh, cleaning supplies and stuff like that. Bags. Here I have uh, cups and other containers. Just store, store stuff. Nothing that I use too frequently. So they're just stored on there. Like so. Slip resistant mat for the bottom one. Since I don't have to take it out to look into the inside of it. I have this uh, that I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for yet. But I just had it so I put it here. Uh, then I have uh, canned goods here, tuna, uh, peanut butter jelly, some bars and stuff. So that's that. I have uh, some camping and, and backpacking stuff here, like my hat, my first aid kit, a uh, little towel, and all these uh, propane tanks. Um, so that's what I use for cooking, uh, the wet cooling towel, and just random stuff for, for that. Here it's just miscellaneous, um, fabric, leftover fabric that I used, um, my sleeping bag um, case, and just stuff like that. A sleeping pad for backpacking, things that I don't really use at all in here yet. And um, right on this side, okay so I added this board after adding the bed because I just I had my towel in there for some reason I never put it in there I usually just throw it in the driver's seat and let it dry off like right there um, but here I essentially have my sleeping bag and I have a uh, other um, comforters or blankets just in there so I don't have to fold the sleeping bag back into its case every night I just stuff it in here and then forget about it and that's worked for me well the past week that I've slept in here so I really like that that I just throw everything in there after I wake up and I don't have to worry about it just you know making my bed back into a couch so we're gonna go to the garage section the garage garage section over here I have a few things um, I have just a storage here of plastic bags a stepping stool and a foldable uh, seat I have uh, some some boots right here three gallons of water six gallons of water uh, cleaning cloths a uh, drill um, some drill bits and up here I have my motorcycle helmet uh, whenever I want to ride around the city um, I usually try to use my motorcycle instead of the van that way um, I don't be messing everything in there and I have to be strapping everything every every time I want to go somewhere. I have this cord whenever um, I want to hook up to um, an outlet. Uh, vacuum, tape, a hammock, the mats, just tape measure, bungee cords. Now this is something that I use. I'll give you an example real quick. And you can go as low as you want with this one. You just adjust it however you want. So that way you don't have everyone looking inside. Um, it's just simple, easy, and you can lower it all the way almost to the bottom if you'd like. But that's just how I have it most of the time. That's how I leave it. Now over here, this is the back part. These actually don't come this way, so I don't have to worry about putting anything there. And then the sink is on this side. You already saw that. The driver's side. I have this. Uh, windshield uh, cover and other covers for the windows as well this is usually not here when i drive i just uh, put somewhere else i have a rear view camera which um, works great because i can't usually see throughout that back door i mean window now you can see the the back door is open, that's why it's pointing up. But it's uh, you turn it on and off through here, so that's what that's why I like this one because you could set up set it up both ways, 
um, to turn on and off with that switch or whenever you put it on reverse I decided to leave it the easy way with that switch because I like to have it on um, most of the time just see what's going on behind me since I can't just uh, look at the rear, rear view mirror and take a look at that over here I have backpacks the reason I have so many backpacks I have like four is because when I came to Texas last week I didn't have any of this done but my bed so I had everything stored in there and those bags and now that I've actually done this now I can um I can store it on the storage bins and not worry about having them backpacks um what else oh yeah it's a 2002 but it only has 66,000 miles I got it with 64 I think um about I don't know two three weeks ago three weeks ago I think so it's it's very it's very well ma maintained uh for being uh, of legal age 18 years old basically so that's good this is my phone holder it sits on there GPS or whatnot I added uh, this Bluetooth um, radio transmitter because it doesn't have auxiliary cables or anything like that auxiliary entrances for cords so that's how I listen to the music that I want to listen to I'm gonna explain a little bit of why I did I I built it this way so all I did was basically build shelves all throughout the van um, I did this for um, three reasons let's see if I can remember them. reason number one it's a lot easier to do I don't have a lot of skills with woodworking cutting wood doing this or doing that so it's a lot easier to just cut and drill together and leave it at that I had a super hard time doing the drawer down here for the bed I just it was just uh, it took me too long to learn how to do it and actually do it so I told myself I'm not gonna do any, any more of those so I decided to go this way for that being reason number one it's a lot easier to do number two um, I believe it's lighter these don't weigh much so by adding these instead of more wood I think I saved myself a little bit of weight on the van this is a v6 minivan so i didn't want to add a lot of weight either so already the wood that i have added i feel like it's it's already up you know too much but i don't want i don't want to add any more so i i figure this would be the next big the next best option instead of wood um thirdly um i didn't have the time to do it there's always time but um I was already living out of it for a week and I, all I had was a bed and a half finished sink. I built around it. I built around the bed and the sink. That, those are the two things that I wanted to have in here the most. Third thing, um, I, I wasn't even planning on building this to be honest. Um, I was going to leave all this area cleared but I figure um, because the, the way that I did it at first was I'd take this out and then the extended piece will sit on this and that's how it will hold it but now with this i don't have to do that and i have a lot more room to store stuff and just it's it's a lot better it looks nice i'm glad i went with it so i built that after and then this was the last piece that i did and um yeah it's just i, I bought these it saved me a lot of time if i would have enclosed all these stuff and built drawers for all of these it would have taken me so much longer and also um it takes up more room believe it or not because you have to add the the material of the um the mechanics of of the drawers so you have to add one here those are they're about a half an inch here and here then on this side i'd have to add another piece of wood so that could hold on to that so you're already losing um, half an inch here, half an inch here, plus the other wood, which is three quarters of an inch to an inch, depending on which one you use. And then if you want to build another one, then it's it just stopped recording. I just figured that out right now when I was putting the video together. So it just stopped recording. So um, I forgot what I was explaining. I was over here with my clothes and saying how um, you lose space if you add um, other stuff to it but anyway um you know thank thank you guys for watching the video i'll try and post videos about 
about um, this whole process and and uh, right now I'm gonna be working so I'm not gonna be traveling a lot in it and uh, but as soon as I start traveling I'll put travel videos with the van, van videos I'll be expanding my sticker collection a lot um, I just have this one because I went recently so I still had it on hand and not used but hopefully you know I'll have it full of stickers of national parks and state parks that I go to so um, just you know check back and you'll see um, I'm gonna get some some stuff for my windows to cover the windows and maybe some curtains as well and I'm gonna do a few upgrades here and there so just if you want to see those upgrades just um, stay tuned and wait for the videos to come out thank you everyone for watching